I hate doing videos like this because I don't want to and I feel like I have to. I really, because it's, it's, and the reason I hate doing this one is because I like RFK Jr. I do, I, I, I've done videos going off on him before in the Kennedys because I, I don't, I don't know that the Kennedys were on the right side of America. I don't know, I'm just, so I've done videos about them, but when, when Trump brought him out on stage, I thought that was a totally historical moment. I got chills. Because I like RFK Jr. He's smart. He's hot. He's built. You know, um, he, he, he's, he's brought some truth out about Fauci. But I feel like a lot of that truth was brought out out of desperation because they need to take Trump down. Let's face it, RFK Jr. never liked Trump. Um, I I. I so here's here's where I'm going with this, and, and I hope I guess I hope I'm wrong. But if people remember, Kanye West came out several years ago and said how his mother was sacrificed for his fame, and he said that's the only way you get fame and fortune on a big level in the music industry. Everybody wrote him off as crazy, but then a ton of music people in the industry came out and said, no, it's true. It's the only way you could get anywhere. Hollywood people have come out and said the same thing. So they have to sacrifice a family member, and the more they sacrifice, uh, the more they can keep their wealth and fame, or else they sacrifice a lot, they can get even more wealth and fame. So you can write me off as crazy, but then you need to write off all the Hollywood and, and all the music industry because there's been too many at this point that have come out and confirmed that. Uh, just It's easy. Look at like John Travolta. Within a three-year period, he lost his son, and then he lost his wife to breast cancer. You could say, oh, that's just whatever. Look at Joe Biden, though. Joe Biden lost Bo. Okay. War, I guess you could see you were a brain tumor. Bo Biden, he was young, but he had a brain. Okay, but then Joe Biden also lost his wife, his first wife, and his two daughters. And he's gone on to be in the Senate before he was president. If you look into any of these people with a lot of power, you'll find they have a lot of death in their family. The can't Kennedys being the biggest. Um, and so I wonder if one of the reasons all the details haven't been released about JFK is because it might be too hard for the public to handle that was he sacrificed to help the family Kennedy advance, family, family name advance, because what's happened because of so many people that have died and there's so many, I mean, it's considered the, the Kennedy curse. Um, the Kennedy's curse is a series of deaths, um, accidents, assassinations, and other calamities involving members of the American Kennedy family. The alleged curse has primarily struck the descendants of businessman Joseph P. Kennedy Sr., but it has also affected family, friends, associates, and other relatives. Political assassinations and plane crashes have been most common uh, manifestations of the curse. Following the Chappaquiddick incident in 1969, Ted Kennedy is quoted saying he questioned if, quote, some awful curse did actually hang over all the Kennedys, end quote. Um, and there's so many of them. And then Jackie O went on to, you know, uh, put JFK like on the, you know, she started the whole he's Camelot thing, which that goes back to like your royal castles and King Arthur and that there'll never be a, a Camelot like him. And who were the Kennedy and the Onassises? Both families are part of those 13 families. They're, one, they're, they're, they're two different families that are in that group of the 13 families. So because there's been so many deaths, like every couple of years with the Kennedy family, it ends up, they end up being not only, well, they end up being on, I mean, massive, that Kennedy name is like in Harvard and everywhere, not just in universities, but monuments, streets, roads, everywhere. Kennedy, Kennedy, Kennedy. But not just here in America. 
It's all around the world. That's a lot of power and prestige. You would be in, need to have a lot of sacrifices. So was JFK sacrificed. I could be wrong. I just you, I can't imagine people haven't wondered it when you look into the music, you know, all the music industry people that have come out and confirmed that yeah, to get anywhere in the music business, that's what you have to do. In Hollywood, that's what you have to do. Kanye West said, go and just look at how many people disappear in, in the music and Hollywood area altogether. Jennifer Hudson, you know, she lost three of her family members that were murdered all at once. And there's many, many others. John Travolta, you know, Kelly Preston, his wife and his son. And there's just, there's one after another. And the Kennedy family has the most. So when JFK agreed to do air, airlift to America, and that's not a conspiracy. That's actually in the Kennedy Library. It's something that, you know, uh, place, you know, like your, your, Kennedy Center, or the Kennedy Library is very proud of that history because the State Department refused to, pay, you know, refused to fly Kenya students here to go to school. So these people, I, I forget who they were with, they went to Kennedy and he was a senator then and said, we can't get the State Department to do this. We want to fly these Kenya students here um, to go to school. Always about the foreigners coming in, right? So the Kennedy Foundation, the Kennedy family paid for the first two lifts. It's called Airlift to America, bringing Kenya students here to go to the Ivy League schools. And as I said, the second uh, airlift, they, after that, it, it was taken over by somebody else. But after that, um, the, well, the second airlift, sorry, I had to yawn. Um, the second airlift had Obama's dad on it. That None of that's a conspiracy theory. Maybe Ken, Kennedy didn't know about it. It's just why would he pay for foreign students to come here? Seems like all these people get into office and it's like all about foreign students instead of Americans. There was a lot of regulatory agencies that came under JFK too. So it's just something to think about. I'm not, you know... I, you know People want to commit people for that kind of stuff, but you can't ignore the, all the evidence of the people in the music and Hollywood industry that have said that's what you have to do to get power, fame, and money. So you have to sacrifice loved ones. And not just once, you, you, you kind of have to have an ongoing, but the more you do, the more fame and fortune and power you have. Kennedys have a lot of power and fortune. So because this whole system is so deceptive and they all seem, even though they act like that they're aligning with Trump, I'm not so sure about that. That's why I hate saying it, because I like RFK Jr. Did he turn over a new leaf? I don't know. I mean, one of his wives committed suicide. Yeah, it's all just a coincidence. And they were tied to the Catholic Church. And you know, the Catholic Church does sacrifice. Every time one of their priests, bishops, or whatever abuses a child, they're basically sacrificing that child, even if they live, because they've tried to kill the soul or kill the spirit. So maybe it is a curse, because there were people that were concerned when Kennedy was elected back then, because they were concerned about a Catholic president. Then look at J.D. Vance. You know, he's Catholic too. What's interesting about him is his son is named Vivek, Vivek Vance. So I started wondering, is Vivek related to J.D. Vance's wife? Because they're both from the same culture. I don't know, but they all seem to be rallying around Trump with Tucker Carlson. I'm not sure who the guy in the middle is. I think he was just being introduced to them. So a former media person, there's Vivek and RFK Jr. I just think there's a lot of people that are out to get Trump and playing a game.